Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today to do a little bit of an introduction into a new series that I'm going to be doing at least over the next three months. I'm going to attempt a no buy. So that is where I don't buy any makeup. None. Nada. Nothing. Um, but I'm also going to extend that to everything. I'm not going to buy anything uh, except for like replacing toothpaste, deodorant, sunscreen. I don't even think realistically maybe toothpaste. The rest of it I think I've got covered. So until the end of the year I'm going to attempt a no buy. So what I'll do is I'll probably do um, maybe not monthly check-ins. It depends if I've got something interesting to say but maybe like six weekly check-ins or whatever it happens to be um, and I will keep you updated with how I'm going, what I'm struggling with or if I made any whoopsie daisies and what I purchased. We've been in lockdown for quite a while now and it was sort of through the end of winter. So I did a bit of uh, comfort buying. So upgrading my dressing gown, buying new pajamas, buying a new electric toothbrush, doing like stuff like that, just like, I don't know, for comfort because we're stuck at home and it's been crap. So I went through that kind of phase and now I feel like I've got everything. I don't need anything. I definitely don't need makeup. And so what I want to do is test myself and see if I can not buy anything and see how I go. The real temptation is going to be the holiday period with holiday releases because I know something that I want. Um, but we'll see if I can hold out and be strong. So what I was thinking of doing with my updates, besides just popping in for like one minute and saying, didn't buy anything, um, I thought I'd talk about like my struggles and whatnot, but also I'm going to let myself browse. I'm not going to like unsubscribe to, you know, emails to tell me about sales and whatnot. I'm still going to let myself browse. Um, and this is like clothing. This is everything, not just beauty. Um, and then what I'm going to do is probably tally up what I've saved by not buying what I've been tempted by, if that makes sense. Because another motivating factor about this video or that sparked this, besides the excess amount of stuff that I've got, and at this point I value the space more than I have, I value the stuff, um, but also like um, we're looking at possibly buying a new house and we attended an online auction over the weekend. Now the price range of the house, we were willing to go $100,000 more than the price range that was advertised. The house went for, get a load of this, over $400,000 more than the advertised price. So I've really realized that we need more money. We need to save more money. We need to spend less. So even though my spending is not going to get me $400,000, it's not going to happen. I don't spend that much money, not in a lifetime, but you know, any, any little bit helps. So right now I'm in a real motivated mood of using up stuff I have, uh, review stuff I've already got, um, and try to save money in the process. So that's what I'm sort of going to update with this series. All right. So there's a few things that I forgot to mention. Um, and I was editing and I'm like, ah, you didn't talk about these. So here I am. Um, I thought I'd mention that even though I'm not buying any items for me, of course, I'm still buying stuff for my kid and whatnot. Like it happens. I'm just not buying stuff for me, but I am on some PR lists from brands. So occasionally I get sent makeup. Now in the last year or two, um, I've actually taken myself off a lot of PR lists um, simply because I just don't have the time to review a lot of PR. Um, and you do look, some people see PR as being like, okay, it's free makeup isn't that exciting but in reality it is actually a lot of work and you you don't have to feature products but at the same time um there's almost like a a guilt or an obligation that you sort of feel that if you get sent something um you should at least try it and review it and i just did, haven't had the time the last couple of years to do that so brands that send me unsolicited pr which means they just randomly send pr they don't ask me if i want to try it they just send it out I've actually removed myself off those PR lists, um, but there are occasional brands like Kaleidos is one that they'll send me an email and say, we're bringing out new lip clay cloud things. Do you want to try them? And I'm like, fuck yeah, because I love them. So, you know, I will be receiving some makeup in PR, but I will try to minimize it because I don't need more makeup. And unless I, I'm keen to do a review on the products, I won't accept them. So I know my experience with my no buy will be very different from other people's because 
Um, you know, for most people, if they don't buy products, they don't get any products. But I can assure you that I don't receive much PR. And that's just out of choice. I don't want to receive much PR. And if I do bring anything into my life, I want it to be something that I'm really keen to review. And while I'm here, I thought I'd also mention, um, I'll show you the, the last makeup item I've hopefully bought for the whole year. Um, this is a Be Perfect Cosmetics palette, the Carnival, the Antidote. This arrived the other day. So when I'd filmed my intro, this hadn't arrived, but I had ordered it, I believe. Um, and it is a massive palette, but it's the tones that I love. It's like cool tones and green tones with a bit of warm tones thrown in. I think this is gorgeous. So uh, this was sort of my last hurrah, um, where I have, this is my only palette I've bought all year. Can you believe it? I think that's the case. Only eyeshadow palette I bought all year. And um, I do want to do a review with this sometime soon. But that, yeah, fingers crossed that is my last purchase of 2021. So I know a lot of people have done no buys. I did a low buy, but I've never done a no buy. Um, so if you've got any good tips, let me know in the comments. Um, and we can get through it together. So thank you so much for watching. I'll be back in the next month or six weeks with an update of how I'm going with my no buy. Um, and I'm hoping... I'm going to be going well. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.